Elon Musk has been very vocal about not needing LiDAR to achieve level 5 full autonomy. But is Elon Musk wrong about LiDAR? I'm Jonathan and welcome to Cleaner Watch. The reason I thought this was a good topic to bring up right now is because the Kilowatts recently tweeted out these pictures showing a Tesla vehicle with what looks like a LiDAR harness and other sensors on the top of the vehicle. This particular Tesla had private plates, however, the Kilowatts also caught in December of 2020 a similar vehicle with what looks like some kind of LiDAR sensors on it as well. This particular one had manufacturer license plates. So is Tesla now switching directions? Are they using LiDAR for their full self-driving program? We're gonna talk about this more at the end of the video and I'll talk about what I believe these sensors are on these Tesla vehicles that were spotted by the kilowatts. But before we dive into that, I think it's really important that we build a basic case and examine what Tesla and Elon Musk have said about LiDAR in the past. Just as an intro, in case you're not very familiar with what LiDAR is, LiDAR stands for Light Detection and Ranging and basically is a sensor that uses laser pulses to detect objects and build a digital map of the surrounding area. One of the main reasons why LiDAR is used by so many companies is because LiDAR is very accurate when it comes to reading distances and depths, and it allows you to build a 3D model of the world around you. However, when you look at the leading companies currently working on full autonomy, Tesla, Waymo, Cruise, Argo, Mobileye, and Zooks, each one of these companies besides Tesla use LiDAR. I believe if you were to talk to each one of these companies, they would tell you that Elon Musk is wrong and that LiDAR is necessary for a truly safe, full self-driving vehicle. However, I want to examine the facts and look at LiDAR versus Tesla's camera-based vision system and see if LiDAR is going to be really be necessary and if it's superior to what Tesla is developing. Now, I do think it's important that we mention here at the beginning of this conversation that Elon Musk does know a thing or two about LiDAR. As he mentioned in this tweet in November of 2020, SpaceX developed and continues to use LiDAR for Dragon docking with the space station. He then goes on to say that in his opinion, though, LiDAR is pointless when it comes to self-driving. And if you're going to use active photon generation, he says to use an occlusion penetrating wavelength like radar. Elon Musk even went so far as to say at Tesla's Autonomy Day quote, LiDAR is a fool's errand. Anyone relying on LiDAR is doomed. Andre Karpathy, the senior director of AI at Tesla, also had this to say about LiDAR at the Autonomy Day. It, speaking about LiDAR, gives a false sense of progress and is ultimately a crutch. Of course, anytime that Elon Musk says something that's somewhat controversial, it's big news. And of course, when Elon Musk once again talked about LiDAR at Autonomy Day, it swept across the industry, and especially those who are working to develop a LiDAR, they of course don't like what Elon Musk is saying. Here's what the president of a LiDAR manufacturer, Velodyne, had to say in this Silicon Valley Business Journal article about Tesla's approach to full self-driving. Quote, without LiDAR, the system is missing crucial 3D vision with 3D data points for collision avoidance and advanced autonomous navigation. Musk brought us innovation, but not quality when it comes to safety. In just a minute, I want to address this comment made by the Velodyne president about Tesla's approach to full self-driving. But before we do that, I want to examine the difference between LiDAR and radar and talk about the benefits of each and really how radar is really superior to LiDAR in many ways. At Tesla's Autonomy Day, Elon Musk said this about radar versus LiDAR. Quote, you want to use a wavelength that's occlusion penetrating like radar. LiDAR is just active photon generation in the visible spectrum. What Elon Musk is pointing out is that LiDAR actually has some serious faults when it comes to penetrating through occlusions like heavy rain, fog, etc. And it's not a superior instrument when it comes to driving in adverse weather. To help illustrate this point, I found this great little ebook by a company that is currently producing radar systems called Einstein. And in this ebook, which I'll link to in the description, they said, quote, while LiDAR technology may continue to function in conditions of heavy rain, snow, or fog, its performance will be significantly degraded, but radar will continue to function just as well as if it were a clear sunny day. Now, when it comes to the current suite of sensors on Tesla's vehicles coming out of their factories right now, they do come with eight cameras, and they also come with a front-facing radar system. 
However, according to a recent tweet by Elon Musk talking about the next significant release of full self-driving coming out in April, he said that they're going with pure vision this time, not even using radar. So not only is Elon Musk saying that LiDAR is not necessary for full self-driving, it appears like he's now saying that radar isn't necessary for full self-driving. So really the LiDAR versus radar conversation is kind of out of date now. Now we need to talk about LiDAR versus camera-based vision systems and see which one is superior. Now, as I just mentioned, when it comes to adverse weather events like snow, heavy rain, fog, or even a bright light shining to the sensor, LiDAR doesn't function very well in these circumstances. On the flip side, Tesla has proven the functionality of their camera-based system in many of these adverse weather environments, and with all the data they continue to collect, Tesla's neural net will only get better. The truth is, when it comes to a LiDAR sensor versus a camera, a camera can actually give you more and better data than LiDAR ever can. Here's Andre Carpathy discussing this exact topic at Tesla's Autonomy Day. So in summary, people drive with vision only. No, no lasers are involved. This seems to work quite well. The point that I'd like to make is that visual recognition, and very powerful visual recognition, is, is absolutely necessary for autonomy. It's not a nice to have. Like we must have neural networks that actually really understand the environment around you. And, uh, and LiDAR points are a much less information rich uh, environment. So vision really understands the full details. Just a few points around are, are much, um, there's much less information in those. So as an example on the left here, um, is that a plastic bag or is that a tire? A, a LiDAR might just give you a few points on that, but vision can tell you which one of those two is true and that impacts your control. Is that person who is slightly looking backwards, are they trying to merge in, into your lane uh, on the bike or are they just, uh, or are they just going forward? In the construction sites, what do those signs say? How should I behave in this world? The entire uh, infrastructure that we have built up for roads is all designed for human visual consumption. So all the signs, all the traffic lights, everything is designed for vision. And so that's where all that information is. And so you need that ability. Is that person distracted and on their phone? Are they going to walk, walk into your lane? Those answers to all these questions are only found in vision and are necessary for level four, level five autonomy. LIDAR is really a shortcut it sidesteps the fundamental problems, the, the important problem of visual recognition that is necessary for autonomy. And so it gives a false sense of progress and is ultimately, it's ultimately a crutch. Now circling back to Velodyne's criticism of Tesla's system lacking 3D vision and 3D data points, Tesla, according to this Clean Technica article, has now achieved LiDAR-like accuracy with their camera-based vision system. Andre Carpathy also demonstrated this 3D vision capability at Autonomy Day and showed just what they can do with the camera-based vision alone. As you can see in this particular video, they were able to take a short clip of driving through an area and create this 3D model from that particular video data. Also, as Elon Musk mentioned at Autonomy Day, and he's mentioned this in the past as well, humans can drive with vision alone. So an autopilot or a full self-driving system should be able to drive with vision alone as well. Now, when it comes to addressing the really extreme weather conditions and the limitations of a camera-based vision system in really extreme weather, if the weather is so bad that a human driver cannot operate a vehicle safely, the car probably should not be on the road at all, whether on autopilot or human pilot, so crazy extreme weather is not as much of an issue as people might think. Now, when it comes to my opinion about Tesla not using radar in a future release of their full self-driving beta program, if vision is really all that's necessary, then why not? If humans can drive without radar, so can Tesla's cars, albeit that the cars have a huge advantage over humans because Tesla's vehicles have multiple cameras all around the vehicle. Now that we've covered Elon Musk and Tesla's opinion about LiDAR, I think it's important that we circle back to the tweets about the kilowatts and explain my opinion of what's going on with these pictures of a Tesla vehicle with what looks like some kind of LiDAR sensors. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the recent pictures that the kilowatts tweeted out, these pictures of the Tesla had private license plates. However, the Tesla that they photographed in December of 2020 was a Model Y with manufacturer license plates. That same day, Yu Yu Zhu caught the same Model Y in the daytime, and he caught a lot better close-up picture of the back sensor with what looks a lot like this Luminar Hydra LiDAR sensor. So it does appear like this Tesla vehicle with manufacturer license plates had some kind of LiDAR sensor on the top. 
What was the reason for this? Is Tesla really using LiDAR? I believe that this tweet response by Phil Harrison is completely accurate and is what's going on here with this Tesla. Quote, you could in theory use the LiDAR measurements to generate a point cloud ground truth. From this, you can determine precision and recall metrics for a training run of the camera pixel distance neural net by comparing the ground truth to the prediction. Basically what Phil Harrison is saying is that Tesla could be using a LiDAR sensor to build a set of data points that they can compare their camera-based vision system to and just make sure once again that it's completely accurate like it should be. The reason I believe this is probably correct is because this would be very similar to a process that Tesla has used in the past when they used radar data to train their neural net when it comes to depth and distance. Here is Andre Carpathy explaining this at Autonomy Day. So there's nothing limiting networks from predicting this monocular depth except for labeled data. So one example project that we've actually um, looked at internally is we use the forward-facing radar, which is shown in blue, and that radar is looking out and measuring depths of objects, and we use that radar to annotate the, uh, what vision is seeing, the bounding boxes that come out of the neural networks. So instead of human annotators telling you, okay, this, this car and this bounding box is roughly 25 meters away, you can annotate that data much better using sensors. So you use sensor annotation. So as an example, radar is quite good at that distance. You can annotate that, and then you can train a neural network on it. And if you just have enough data of it, this neural network is very good at predicting those patterns. So here's an example of predictions um, of that. So in circles, I'm showing radar objects, and, in, uh, and the cuboids that are coming out uh, here are purely from vision. So the cuboids here are just coming out of vision, and the depth of those cuboids is learned via sensor annotation from the radar. So if this is working very well, then you would see that the circles in the top-down view would agree with the cuboids, and they do. And that's because neural networks are very competent at predicting depths. So in conclusion, only time will tell who's right about LiDAR. However, betting against Elon Musk has not been successful in the past, and I don't believe it will be when it comes to this issue either. I recommend checking out the many YouTube videos from people in Tesla's full self-driving beta program and judging for yourself who seems to be right about LiDAR. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and that you learned something as well. If you're not already subscribed to this channel, please consider subscribing. And if you do subscribe, if you click the bell icon, you'll be notified when new videos are published. Also, if you did like the video, please consider clicking the like button because that helps other people find the video as well. I also want to take a moment to thank the Patreon supporters who support me every month and help make this content possible. A special thank you to my performance supporters and also the other supporters listed on the screen. If you'd like to find out more about the Patreon community I've set up, I'll put a link in the description below. Thank you so much.